what we do here is go back, 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 back. Hello everybody, this is the Bulldozer, and thank you for giving me your time, and thank you for watching another one of my videos. I really do appreciate it. If you would, please consider using my code, Mr. Bulldozer Gaming, and you can see it there in the lower left-hand corner of your screen. We have another Thor challenge for you at the brand new Season 4, Chapter 2 of Fortnite, the Marvel um, series is what I'm calling this. And this one here is, you have to uh, do three different challenges to unlock the emote, the Thor Awakening. And this is the one with the hammer that spins around as you can see right there on your screen as you saw when the video first started you're also going to unlock a I guess there's a card or whatever they are I never look at them except for the time it shows I got one there now you will get this when once you hit level 15 again um, this is a three different stages you can't do them all in one game you have to back out go into stage two and come back in Right here it is, you can see once you hit level 15, that's what you're going to unlock. I also unlocked level 15 and 16 in that game, so I unlocked the, uh, I call it the Hawk um, wrap for the weapon. Here's our first stage. You visit the Biofrost marks as Thor. Now, it says as Thor, so you have to make sure you have the Thor skin on. And it's going to be right here where this little gray area is. I haven't been to that part of the map yet. And I can only assume the reason why this is gray is because you got the biofrost there and also you've got the robots that are laying on the ground. Which I'm not sure what those are there for yet. Um, if it's a challenge or something I unlock in the future, I will let you know. So this is right above that little uh, henchman white building right by Wicked Woods. So you see you got Loot Lake there, it's going to be to the right of Loot Lake. And you can see the robots lay on the ground. And to the right of the robots, you got that wooden house, that, that log cabin. It's right in front of the log cabin. As you can come in, you can already see the circles in the ground. Now you can go to any one of them. I know the challenge is kind of misleading because when you first look at the, look at the challenge, it says one of three. But, and that means it's three stages, not you have to go to three different Biofrost locations. I'm going to go ahead and knock this down. There's nothing there. I'm, I'm assuming this person here I got it. But watch out for right here. I got stuck right here. Um, so, yeah, if you're in a gunfight, make sure you avoid that little spot right there. Let me go up here in the bush. I'm assuming this person's got a weapon or something that or maybe they didn't get no weapon they just took off running I don't know but you can see where I'm at and right below there why it's not green because I'm there I have no clue but you can see where we're at you can see a little white building I was talking about that was a henchman location and it's right on top of the hill um, right next to it now here is the second stage you got to deal damage to opponents while using Thor's hammer um, major lore or whatever the hammer's called so I almost get the whole um, five hits on this one person right here it is going to take five hits because each hit is 20 points and you see I got three of the five there so I get you know one one hit on this person right here and of course they're using a weapon there was the one hit and he takes me out so there you see 80 of 100 and I'm gonna come right back in at him, and I like this man. It, it, this <laughs> this hammer as a glider is really nice, but what I'm afraid of is because you're leaning forward, it's gonna make it for an easy target. Now this person threw the uh, dance bomb on me, boogie bomb, but I was still able to hit him with the hammer. I didn't think you can do anything if you are using a uh, or if you're in the middle of a boogie bomb. So I don't know if that's something new or not. Let me know down below if you noticed that in the past. And our next one is you gotta do the emote at as Thor at the top of the mountain ruins. Now, you don't have to worry about putting on a certain emote. You're gonna see once we get here, all my emotes are gonna be gone except for the awakening emote, which we're gonna unlock. 
And the mountaintop you want to look for is directly behind the Misty Meadows. And right, right below this mountaintop it has the waterfall on it. So you can see the waterfall right there. And there's some stone structures up here. Now what I do recommend you doing is as soon as you land, go ahead and get this chest. Get any weapons that's in that chest. That way you don't have a uh, chance of somebody eliminating you. Then let's go ahead and do the emote. You see how all the emotes were going except for this one here? And there we go, folks. That's how we completed the challenge. That easy. And there is our confirmation. Challenge complete. Thor Awakening. So and that, is, that's, that is a pretty cool emote. It is one of those things that I think you can only use while you're as Thor. It's one of those built-in things that if you notice that there is a lock position on your emotes or you put your emotes and your sprays. So I think this is one of those things where these characters are going to have items that are specific to them and you can't use them unless you're running that character. And here's what it looks like on the front view. So that way I know you can see it on the screen with your in your locker. This gives you an idea on how it looks out, out in the playing field. Um, the only downfall about this is it glows, um, makes him glow, so it, it could end up leading to an easy headshot. So keep that in mind as well. I wouldn't use that a whole lot because, like I said, it's going to make, make him glow, and it could end up costing you to be eliminated by a headshot. Thank you for giving me your time. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. Again, if you would, please consider subscribing to the channel and hit that notifications bell. I would appreciate that also. If you found this video helpful, smash that like button. This is the Bulldozer. Get your killing on, and I'm out of here. Hope you enjoyed the video you just watched. Here's some more videos you might be interested in. On the left-hand side, my Fortnite playlist. On the right-hand side, the previous video I uploaded. Who knows what this could be. It could be dash cam footage. It could be something about on YouTube. It could be a number of things. Thank you for watching. Thank you for giving me your time. This is the Bulldozer. Get your killing on, and I'm out of here.